Tiana Taylor dropped a new album and it's long. Torture Talk. Alright, so today I want to talk about the new Tiana Taylor album, Tiana Taylor. Tiana Taylor is a New York artist who's been making her way through the scenes for a couple of years. Uh, she did a couple of songs with a couple of different people and she's pretty, pretty different. I would, I would say uh, she's a little hard edgy type of uh, female music. Kind of reminds me of a, a Janae Aiko, but just a little harder than Janae Aiko, I would say. But, you know, but it is what it is. So well, let's get into the album. So, okay, so let's uh, let's start with, uh, let's start with Sonically. So I'll get to the lyrics at the end. Sonically, uh, the album sound good. It sound, uh, it sound good. The mixing was okay, I should say. Uh, it wasn't, it wasn't. And as good as I thought it could have been, White well, thought I would, thought it would have been, but it was all right. Uh, I think that she could have did a little bit more. They could have did a little bit more production because it kind of sound a lot of the beats sound redundant. A lot of the beats sound the same to me. A lot of the production was like it was like in this loop pattern. And every song came on. It was like the next song was like the the last song, or was similar to the last song. It wasn't like something that I thought was like, okay, this is something different. There's only one song to me that stood out, and that was the song with Erica Badu, which was a playoff off of one of her old songs. Um, and I think she had a couple of tracks on there, which was a playoff of old songs, I believe. So the, the the mixing and the production was okay. Um, I think that she could have did better. They could have did much better with the mixing and production. Like I think some of the songs had too much bass in it, and uh, some of the features was like, why did she have this person on the record? It wasn't too impressive. Like it wasn't something that I thought that I thought that you know. She could have, she could have did, she could have probably did without a lot of those features. You know, it wasn't something that was groundbreaking to me. Uh, as far as uh, lyrically, see, this is where the album took to me took took a turn. I'm not gonna say for the worst, but it took a turn for the the bad. I should say, not the worst. See, Tiana Taylor to me, she's one of those artists that. I feel like she's trying too hard to fit in sometimes. And I think that a lot of her music feels like it has no soul to it. It's like somebody that is talented, but they don't know what to really do with their talent. Or they 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 just they just go along with what's going on today. So it's like, okay, so let me sing like this, because everybody's singing like this. And it's just a carbon copy of what everybody else is doing. It's not nothing that's like, okay, let me see if I could do this differently, but still try to sound modern. And it's like, no. It sounds like this this album to me sounds like a bunch of different albums that I heard from these newer artists that really can't sing that well, but they have a nice little voice with them, but they can't really sing that well. And they're not doing nothing that's around Baker. Now, she has some songs on here about sex. And it's just weird to me because I don't really look at her as that type of artist who really talks about sex and fucking and, and sucking and all that. I mean, maybe she's into that. I don't know. But she don't strike me as that type of artist that does that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't really think that she's sexy like that anyway, but still in all. I get it. I mean, you got to be a little bit edgy, but it just feels like it was emptied. A lot of these songs felt so empty to me. And I'm like, I know. I'm not even going to say I know. I'm just going to say I thought that she could have did better on a lot of this stuff that she did. And it's like, 
the album was so long. Literally, it was like an hour and 40 minutes. It's like, why is this album so long? A lot of those songs was just like B-side. For the, the majority of the album was B-side cuts. It wasn't even, there wasn't even a song on there that to me, maybe one that was like, okay, this is great. This is a great song. Maybe two. There's another song on there. I think she did by herself. I liked her flow on that. But again, it's that same type of flow that everybody's doing. So, I mean, I'm probably never going to listen. Matter of fact, I know I'm never going to listen to this album again. I see people posting it like, oh, yeah, it's great. And I don't I don't think so. I think y'all just fiending for music. Because I, if I had to compare this album to a couple of albums that came out this year, it's nowhere near as good as those albums. I'm sorry. I picked two albums off the top of my edge, and they I go in the Weekend album. And the Weekend's album is is way better. So it's like, what are we doing here? Like, I just think some of these artists, they they are artists because they're known now and they have to be, but they need to be more artists because the carbon copy thing ain't working for me no more. So I'll get this album a light six, pushing down to a five. I think that uh, she had a lot of songs on here that she could have just left off and it probably would have got a higher score in some 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 twisted way if she would have just basically cut a lot of that songs cut a lot of them songs off like literally cut a lot of those songs off torture talk like share subscribe to the page tell your family about me you know what it is